trying to okay so the word of god is spirit and power and it changes everything all right when we issue the word it goes out to accomplish what god has said there are things that god said in time past and people recorded them that voice of god is still in existence we just need to get ourselves into connecting with it and really flowing in it that's all that's all we need to get into all right because the voice still exists and then there are things that god did all right which were done in um you know let me let me let me use this example because i want to explain something here when you know the things that the devil uses to carry out his function there are things in the realms of god which he just um let me say he copies and uses it in a perverted dimension all right i'll give you a story there was a girl two girls were relating and one comes from a well-to-do family the other you know was average and they were very close friends so a time came the 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 mother of the other girl you know was having her birthday and so this one said to her friends ah, it's mommy's birthday what are we going to give mommy for her birthday and the girl said okay we look for a clue to buy for mommy and she said you know you and mommy you are the same size there's this beautiful dress i saw you wore the other day you know that you said your parents bought for you blah 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 and all that you know maybe we should give her that i mean to look nice or not no. she said ah, no we can't give your mom something i've won you know no 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 we have to give her something else you know while they were doing back and forth on that they forgot to get a gift for the mother on her birthday you know and you know the birthday went the, the, that thing was forgotten they were planning something different and then a discussion happened between this other girl from the ivory family and the mother and they would say ah you you didn't even give me anything for my birthday you know you are your friend you know why because they know a friend comes with very wealthy family so they always get a lot of um, you know things that just come in easily you know through her so so the mother was saying you didn't even you know i said no don't mind my friend though i told her she should give you a particular dress she refused blah blah and then you know that thing just created a sense you know, the devil is evil you know people are careless also because why should that be an issue you know but you know the devil pushed them you know yes so some people say oh they are wicked yeah we know that well in many cases you know they're not really wicked you know uh, um they are careless because they allow satan to take over their heart and anias as a fear peter said why have you allowed satan to fill your heart so much you know that's what happens to people a lot of people they are not they are just careless and they allow satan to fill their heart so much and then they begin to become they become satan's puppet manifesting satan's ways and that's that's the problem that's the problem so satan filled them and they decided that they were going to teach the girl a lesson so they did they went to some um, um dark people and those ones did something to make sure the girl will not have children until she comes to maybe apologize to them or something you know so they did a small statue invoke the girl's uh, uh being or whatever on the statue and then pinned the belly of the statue with something to stop that person from conceiving and tied it with something and they told that them and the, the native doctor told them to keep it that if they remove it she will conceive if they don't remove it she will remain like that so they kept it in the house and guess what over time they totally forgot totally this is true story now somewhere in Ibadan, there was a service going on evangelist was ministry and then years after this other girl got married trusting god for fruit of the womb no fruit of the womb just continue 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 then they invited her to this 
Christian gathering and she went there, you know, and all that stuff. And then the evangelist said, there's a woman here. You are trusting for fruit of the womb. The people that did you this evil, you know, like we say it in Nigeria, that's not, you know, that's uh, Nigerian English speaking. The people that did you this evil, that, 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 that had afflicted you, these people did this and did this, you know, and said what it was. And then he said, today, God is setting you free. That the woman should come out. So, this woman who have been trusting for fruit of who came out with other women who are trusting for fruit of the womb. Guess what happened? God is awesome. The friend was also in that meeting. You understand? And then she saw her old friend going to the front with some other women that went out for that call. And she remembered that moment what they did. So she ran out and went to talk to the pastor and confessed. And the pastor said, well, it is God that arranged it. So they prayed. They went to bring that statue, remove that thing, and destroy the effect of it. The woman conceived. Now, that is how these forces work. They put the name of a person on something, and they afflict that thing, and then the person will be, be afflicted wherever they are. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, Satan copied that from God, but he only uses it in a perversion. What does God do? God will take something and put you there and then do something to remove something from you. What did God do? God brought himself, one of them. They took, they, he took all our sicknesses and put it on him. And then now declared that from now on, we can be free from sickness. Can you see that? Can you see that? From now on, we can be free from sickness. All we need to do is accept what he did on Christ. If we accept it, then the sickness will leave our bodies. Look at uh, Matthew 18, in verse 17. The Bible said that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. The Bible said the chastisement for our peace were laid on him. The punishment that was due you and I. And one of the punishments for sin is sickness. One of the punishments for sin is failure. One of the punishments for sin is oppression. One of the punishments for sin is affliction. One of the terrible punishments of sin is death. All these punishments were put on Jesus. Isaiah 53 said, He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement, the beating, the punishment that will bring us to the place of reconciliation where our records will be clean and will be at peace. That punishment was laid on him. We didn't take the punishment. He took the punishment so that we can be free. And that established it. That's why when you give your life to Christ, you feel a weight lifted off you. Why? Because what Jesus God established in Christ 2,000 years ago, which was done before you were born, as soon as you accept the principle, there's a transference immediately to that 2,000 years and what Jesus already did 2,000 years ago already covered those sins already. So the sins are removed into non-existence. So they cannot be counted against you again. You cannot be punished for them anymore. And then he now took the diseases and the sickness. The chastisements of our peace were laid on him. The Bible says, by his stripes ye are healed. Ye were healed. He took the diseases. He took the uh, uh, hypertension, diabetes, arthritis. He took the cancer. He took it. You just need to see it and then connect, and then whatever the cancer, diabetes, whatever they are, must shift the same way your sin shifted. Yes, the same way your sin shifted. So you are no more punished for your sins. Jesus already took the punishment for your sins. You are no more afflicted with diseases because Jesus took the diseases. The chastisement for our peace were laid upon him himself took 
our infirmities. And you see, it's very interesting. He didn't send an angel to come and take it. He didn't send a, a, a human being to come and take it. Because he's not sure. And let me not say he's not sure. Because he knows they cannot do it well. An angel may decide not to take everything. Human beings cannot even take everything. Which human will take it? But he came himself. He came himself. He came himself. Our God came as the Son. The second person of the God that came and took the diseases. Took the, the hypertension. Took. You understand? Every type of disease. All the brain cancer, the tumor, the blood disease. He took it. He took the sickle cell anemia. He took the bone cancer. He took it. He took it. He took the COVID. He took it. He took it. And placed it on himself. And died with it on the cross. Killing that episode in your life. And how do I get it to live? I just need to accept that he took it. And when I accept he took it. Then it shifts. And because he already destroyed it, when it shifts, it's destroyed. It goes into non-existence. You become totally free. This morning, you are entering that freedom. You are stepping into that freedom. Himself took your infirmities. Himself took your infirmities. Himself took your diseases. He took them all. He took them out. He took it. All right, he took it. He didn't remain any. He didn't leave any behind. He took everything. Himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses so that we will not have them anymore. I want you to see them on him. I want you to see because it's it, it's already destroyed. When they destroyed it two thousand years ago, they were automatically destroyed. Anytime they manifest in history, once somebody can accept what God has done 2,000 years ago, the thing is transferred for total destruction because they are already destroyed. All right? That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how, I just explained how Satan uses that to carry out his own nonsense. But you see the real thing now. I want you to believe God. I want you to pray and say, Father, I believe that Jesus Christ took this infirmity, took these diseases from me. Mention whatever they are, they have been taken. Mention whatever they are, whether they are afflicting you, your spouse, your children, your family members, your parents, begin to mention them and say, Lord, you took them. You Listen, listen, before you continue praying, pause. Listen, he took every one of them so when we say he took arthritis, we're not just talking about arthritis generally. No, he took the arthritis that is troubling you now, that particular one. He took it. He took each one, each arthritis, each one. Maybe they have a brand or what they, what they call it. They call it um, a, a, a batch number in production. The batch number. And um, 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 the number of the, the product itself, that particular arthritis, that particular one that is troubling your bones, your joints, he took that one, he took it, he took it, and he already destroyed it. You just now need to apply that thing that himself took it, and because he took it, this one cannot remain in the name of Jesus. So pray and say, Father, I believe. Jesus took this particular hypertension. Jesus took this particular diabetes. This Jesus took this particular COVID. Jesus took this particular uh, 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 disease away from me. Whatever it's called, call it by his name. Jesus took it. I accept that Jesus took it. 
pray on that a pako dovre ya paska dukanya a ria pape kedovre boko tope kaba i accept that jesus took it 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 parofia peske osan karabaya a ria pape kedovre bo zisas eskukuma eskukuma dayata dayata pape kedovre bo Asias kendo kamata arape etosko etosko pape kendo fro bokoskati asa ariama pape kendo fro mo azakaya he took it he took it he took it he took that one he took that one he took that one too 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 yes that one over there he took it too that one with the father or mother he took it too. That one oppressing your spouse, he took that one too. That one that is trying to molest your child, he took it too. He took them all. So today, we declare because he took them and died with them, and they were destroyed, and on the cross and in the grave, we declare today that arthritis is destroyed, that cancer is destroyed. That hypertension is destroyed. That bone disease destroyed. That disease destroyed. That strange migraine destroyed. In the name of Jesus, He took it. Satan, you can't remain there. I bind you, spirit of affliction. I bind you, spirit of sickness and disease. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Jesus took this. It cannot remain in the body of the people of God. Jesus took this. It cannot remain in the body of the children of God. You can remain where you are. We challenge you today. No! Pakas kudavia. Oras kofiape. Orenda kadapa. Ariapa pekedora. Asans kataya. That, that uh, gl- gl- glucoma is, uh, Jesus took it. We revive his works we destroy his works and we reverse it yes and we declare sight restored in the name of jesus cataracts melt he took it he took that one in the name of jesus he took that one in the name of jesus that problem with your jaws receive healing now he took the pains every pain in any part of your body he took it the pain is gone now 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 a rabash ketasia oviasa kanamba a rababa katoshke as yes that are sensual sickness he took that one too a rabapi katoshke the one that they have sent out to you he took it and then because he took it it is destroyed it can't operate in your body anymore it leaves yes your mother experienced it you cannot experience it you are free in the name of jesus yes some things you're supposed to be eating that are good for your body <laughs> the lord has cornered that today but you now have allergy in the name of Jesus, he took that. I mean, you 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 don't have that. I've not I've not seen people have allergy. You know, well, some people may. You know, but you really have people have allergy for all these things that destroy and kill us. All these sugar foods and all these things. You they don't have allergy for those things, but they have allergy for good. Oh, we bind that foul demon of hell. We cast it out of your life. No more allergy. For good food in the name of Jesus. Arika Pasca Tokania, Aruvia Pesketesco, Zasisa, he took it. He took it. Why did he take it? So that you can be in health. So I decree right now, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be in health, be in health, be in health, be in health. Your hair is growing again because you are in health. Every part of you is alive. Receive the life of God. Receive the life of your God. 
your air is growing again. Receive the life of God. Receive the life of God. All the problem with your teeth. Yeah, yes, a bro. That attack stops in the name of Jesus. We stop that corruption in the name of Jesus. We stop that corruption in the name of Jesus. They can't remove all your teeth. In the name of Jesus, a robber scanoshi, a zesies getopa, a rigaba piganoso, a kadoshko fiapere, or renanto, kodata, 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 kodariapa, a rika papa scofia meskinanda, a rika papa scofiapa. I declare enlargement of your healing and health experience in the name of Jesus. Yes, from your head to your face, to your neck, to your chest, your torso your waist, your legs, your feet, everywhere in your body. Health grows, health increase, health grows. Touching every cell, touching every organ, touching every system. In the name of Jesus, stay in health. Stay in health. That strange pain that you feel in your ears that affects your, your brain, it stops in the name of Jesus. He took that one too. He took that one too. <laughs> he took that one too. In the name of Jesus, you trust in him for better eyesight. Yes, he took bad eyesight. He took that one too. Receive healing in your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Rabba, something on your skin. The Lord showed me this while we we're speaking and communing with God in tongues. Something on your skin. All right. Take, like I said to you the other day, take water, put it in a bucket, and speak the word to it. I, I mean, I'm even seeing something on the skin of a child. Maybe you're already applying some things. Take the water you bath the child with, take some scriptures and speak it to the water. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. Say it and speak that scripture. And say, I speak this scripture into this water. Bath the child with the water. Those things will disappear in a week. Receive healing there. In the name of Jesus. The child's skin is clear. Made pure. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for touching us. Thank you for your healing power. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Glory to God. I prayed. Glory to God. God Almighty is preserving your harvest. Hallelujah. Is preserving your harvest this morning. Now, we're going to go into the word of God in the book of Jeremiah in chapter 33. And we're going to minister to everyone that needs healing this morning. Because God has ordained health and healing for all. Health and healing for all. That's the will of God. That's the agenda of heaven. That's the counsel of the Almighty. All right, Jeremiah chapter 33. And we are going to read verse 6. So if you are still uh, looking out for someone who needs healing this morning, just contact them quickly. Invite them, bring them in. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6, the Bible says, Behold, I bring it health and cure. And cure is so important because God is saying, I will cure them. So it doesn't matter what it is. There is cure available for you. All right. He said, I'll bring it health. I'll bring it cure. I will cure them and reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. So God said, I will cure you. I will reveal to you the abundance of peace and truth. So God wants to bring cure to whatever uh, uh, infirmity, uh, weakness, you know, malady, whatever it is that is troubling you. God wants to bring cure to it today. God wants to bring cure to it today. God wants to bring cure to it today, all right? And all you need to do is yield yourself to him. He is able to manifest cure in all aspects of your health. 
All right. Now, if there is an organ that has problem, God can cure that organ. You understand why? He formed the organ. He can put his hand there. And when he put his hand on it, that organ will return back to its original status of health. All right. If there's a stranger in your body that is creating affliction, maybe a virus, maybe a bacteria, maybe anything at all that is strange, God can terminate that virus. God can terminate that bacteria. The life of that bacteria is in the hand of God. You understand? The life of everything is in God's hand because by him all things are created. The Bible says in Colossians about Jesus Christ, it said by him all things consist, meaning all things continue to find their life through him, meaning without him, they cannot continue to live. So if he says terminate or self-destruct, it has to be terminated. If there are plasmodiums in your body causing fever, malaria fever, they can be terminated by the hand and the finger of God this morning. Why? Because he's bringing you cure. And sometimes the, the, the problem, the ailment, is as a result of satanic powers, satanic curses. You understand? So these powers are working negatively. They are negative energies and forces affecting your health, affecting your organs, affecting your body. The power of God can terminate that too. All we need is to bind the devil behind it and command the powers of hell to be seized. David said, once the Lord has spoken, Twice I heard that power belongs to God. So God can terminate that too, all right? Because his power is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, I will bring it, I'll bring them cure, all right? I bring it health and cure. That means I'm serving health and cure to them. I will cure them. And reveal to them the abundance of peace. God wants you to have peace in your body. He wants you to have peace in your system. He wants you to have peace in your mind. Whether it's a, a, a mental breakdown. Or you are emotionally drained. Or you are depressed. Or you are facing a, a, a deep sadness. God is able to cure it. All right, The hand of the Lord will touch it and cure it. Where, it, where there is cancer, the hand of the Lord will terminate those cells of cancer because he said, I bring you cure. I will cure you and reveal to you the abundance of peace and truth. You want peace in your body. Anywhere where there's no peace in your body, God is demanding peace in that place. Why? Because he said, I bring it cure. I will cure them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Pain cannot stay. Why? Because God said, I bring it cure and I will give them peace. And guess what? The Bible says of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So God brings cure and the cure establishes peace. Peace, it restores the body back to what it's supposed to be. God is the one who cures and is curing you this morning in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive your health and cure this morning. Cure every part of my body that needs adjustment and fixing. Bring cure there by your hand in the name of Jesus. Pray that in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus said, tell him one more time, Father, I receive your cure this morning in my body in the name of Jesus. 
pray that in the Holy Ghost again. That roof, ya pa. A rika pa pe katosh ko fi ya pa. A ruko fi am beskenente. Oranta pa di kada. A ruko pa pe katofra pe kapisko fi ama. A sans katosh ko pa. A pa pe katofra po koskadia. A ruko nam pa pe am beske. Be am beske, be am beske, be am beske. A ruko pa pe katofra pe kataru. A rof ya beske da kalas kanda. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. He said he's going to show the world that his hand is mighty. That his hand is mighty. So he's bringing cure by his hand this morning. Stretch your hand towards this hand and declare, I receive the hand of the Lord. I will pray for you right now. And the hand of God reaches you where you are touches that organ, touches that part of your body. In the name of Jesus, by the hand of God, I declare healing and health delivered to your body. No! In the name of Jesus, thou foul spirit of sickness, affliction, infirmity, and disease, I bind you. I disallow you. In the bodies of these children of God, I disallow you. In the bodies of that of those children of God, I disallow you. In the body of that daughter of Zion, I disallow you. Now, in the name of Jesus, yes, I command healing in your body. You are lying down somewhere, the light in the place where your eyes are like bluish in color. Receive healing in your body. Arise and be healed. That serpent that is eating your health, I command it to die by the hand of God. Fire! Rada babeke dofla bosku tarieta. Arigada babeke dofla boko skadia. Receive life in the name of Jesus. Receive life in the name of Jesus. Let every addict disappear now. Arokam papasko tofra by the hand of God. Just stretch your hand towards the hand and say, I receive the hand of God. And put it wherever there is the issue in your body. Arofia paska tokalama. I command the sore throat. Live in the name of Jesus. There's clarity there. Now the, the sickness dries up. You shall not have that terrible cold you used to have every three months. It stops forever. Aruko papas kadara, a regaramba shofia peskedush kaba, a papikadofraba. That thing that holds you on the two sides in the, around your, your abdomen, it holds you on the two sides every now and then. You just feel that sharpness of pain, and it holds you there. We command it to lose you now. Pakato ria tabaria, a rukova cure comes to you. Kill comes to you. Kill comes to your body. A rube rekem. On zanta reka mampa. A papa skutofre bika paskaduka. A rugopapa kadufra ma. A riga paskopa. I see it falling down in what looks like a train station or something. And then a part of the leg I was affected and there'll be pain. Receive healing, permanent healing there. No! You fell also, whether it was at the train station or not, but you also fell. And you had this thing, and then there's always been pain in that part where you fell. Receive healing. That bone is corrected. The tendons are collected. The ligaments are corrected. The muscles are corrected. They are fixed by the hand of the Lord. Now, in the name of Jesus, receive the hand of the Lord. The Lord is also healing, healing, healing the gum and healing the tooth. Yes, receive healing there now in the name of Jesus. The other time God filled somebody's tooth, God can fill your tooth again. Receive that tooth, that tooth that has a hole inside it, filled now, yes, with proper teeth in the name of Jesus. 
Arupa Raka, Ariana Katasa, Azapa Pokoto Graba, Mikaba, Netatia, Metatia, Papa Kadufraba, Arufia Pesketa Kanama, that itching under your foot and that leaves some black, black marks under your foot. Receive healing. It stops in the name. It's a sign of something wrong with one of the organs, but receive healing in that organ. Receive healing in that foot in the name. Jesus, those dark marks disappear now. That organ is cured, 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 cured in the name of Jesus. That organ is cured. That restoration has come. Yes, health has been restored, pain has left, affliction is gone. I rub a pesca do kata, I regard up a pecker do for Porsche, I regard to Scofia pescatata, I regard up a pecker do for a bar, on Nanta Reganampa, I regard up a coto for a bar. I see a measure that there's a measure, and that measure is palm oil, palm oil. I don't know who recommended it to you, all right, but it's working for you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's working. The breath of healing is going through it to walk in your body in the name of Jesus. That's dosage. Works. Works. Parakadu Kenya. Azapapika Dufraba. Rantoshka Taskatapa. He said he would reveal to you the abundance of peace and truth from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive peace. 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 In the name of Jesus, receive peace. In the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost and give thanks at the same time. Bakode kadada, ariga babo shofia peskeduka, ariga namba poko dovraba, mikarapa. If there was pain, check the pain is gone. And once the pain is gone, go to the comment section quickly and type the pain is gone. I have my healing. Raba posko fia perekada rokomaska. Yes, that foot that had those black black uh, marks on, under your foot is a sign of something wrong in one of the organs. The organ that we cured, check under the foot, the marks are gone. And then go to the comment section and type it. The marks are gone from under my foot. The organ is healed. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Check wherever there was pain before. The pain is gone. Go to the comment section. Type it. The pain is gone. I have my healing now. Make sure you had it. I have my healing now. Make sure you had it. I have my healing now. The pain is gone. I have my healing now. All right. Check, 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 check. The tooth that was having pain is the pain is gone. Yes. Go in there and say the pain is gone from my tooth. I have my healing now. Make sure you hand it with, I have my healing now. Yes, because I'm going to decree on that also. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Lord, you are so good. You are so kind Lord, to us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the restoration. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Yes, sir. Papa Kotovri, Ataka, Luskamana, Ariga, Papa Skofia, Peske, Dikabaya. I may not be able to read what you're typing in the comment section, but those of us on Facebook, I can see some things right, right, be written there. But just begin to declare, because I'm going to declare on it. Those of us on Mixella, if the pain is gone, get into the comment section, type in there what has happened, and say, I have my healing now. Make sure you had, I have my healing now to it. Father, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration. I have my healing now in the name of Jesus. So Paragadushko Fia Peske Dida Arigabapus Kofia Pesco Tukalasa. I have my healing now in the name of Jesus. Arugo Fia Pesco Tutari at Tagalasi. Asapapuko Tofra Bika Puko Tofra Bakadania. Adianta Tato Kulu Pepisko Fia Pescada Ruguma. Arigada Papu Kotofra Bika Busko Fia Pesketaya. Yadara Papu Kotofra Bika Buko Tofra Ba. 
I have my healing now in the name of Jesus. Roto Tushka Teske Dita Yababuskofia Pakatofla Bika Bukoto Regana A Rigada Papukotofra Bika Buskofia Piskededa A Rika Papukotofra Bika Bukotofra Bakadako Ayaskataya Tatara Papokodo Reda Poskofia Picotofra Bika Bukotofra Ba Rana Mokoto Flebika Bukotofra Bika Bukoto Rigada Ayasa Papukotofra Ba I have my healing now in the name of Jesus give thanks unto him he is worthy Hallelujah, glory to God. I have my healing now. Rado Shofia Peske Didata Didata Tapapu Kotofre Bika Bukotofra Bakataya Yaziasa Tatskotopre Bikaba Amazofia Pekotofra Ba. I have my healing now in the name of Jesus. I have my healing now in the name of Jesus. So Babu Kotofri Yabaya. Ges Ketushko Babu Kotofia. Yababu Kotofra Bika Bukotoriana. Yes, the pain is gone. I have my healing now in the name of Jesus. Declare what has happened. The pain is gone. I have my healing now. My mom's feet with spots are, have disappeared. I declare that she has a healing. Uh, she's healed of every infirmity. She has a healing now in the name of Jesus. Yes, we see that. Make sure you declare what happened. The pain is gone or the spot is removed or the tooth is filled, you know, and then you have your healing. Now. I have my healing now. My pain in the back is gone. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise for that. Redo shop, papusko, fia, paskada. The dizziness is gone. I have my healing now. Yes, about the tooth and the gum is healed. I have my healing now. Yes, we give God the praise for that. Rodo pasko, fia, paskudari, akala. Some people have just written, I have my healing. I need to know what you are healed of. Rado Shopa Pukoto. Amanga Rukopa Pukoto Frabike Bosco Tudi Adana. Arigada Bosco Fiapara. It's not a declaration of faith. What you have experienced. If you felt the presence of God, then you say, I felt the presence of God. I have my healing now. The pain is gone. I have my healing now. The, uh, uh, the spots are gone. I have my healing now. In the name of Jesus. The spots on the feet. Just somebody writing there. As gone, the healing is established in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we have declared that we have our healings now, we declare in the name of Jesus, the healings are permanent in the name of Jesus. Satan cannot stop it. Hell cannot stop it. The healings are permanent in the name of Jesus. And there is establishment of peace in everyone's body. Peace in your body. Peace in your body. Peace in your body. In the name of Jesus. And peace in your mind. 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 In the name of Jesus. All the worries are subdued. All the fears are subdued. Yes, I feel somebody's having this rising of confidence in you. And someone that have been so worried, you just feel a, dis, a dismantling of the worries. Like the pressure of the worries just dismantled. Yes, go into the comment section and declare it. The pressure of the worries are dismantled. I have my restoration now in the name of Jesus. You have peace in your mind, peace in your home, peace in your life, peace in your system, peace all around you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The dark spots on my soul are gone. I have my healing now. Somebody on the mixer are saying that. Yes, the pain in my back is gone. Another person with pain in the back is gone. I have my healing out from the mixer. In the name of Jesus, we declare these healings are permanent. As you have said it, so it is. It is permanent. The pain on the soldier is gone. I have my healing now. The pain is gone. I have my healing now. Yes, a broko do rebika pasko tufia peskadaya. A rico babusko fia perebai. I have peace all around in the name of Jesus. Yes, you have peace. Aruko Fakos Kadaya. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Glory to God in the highest. We thank God for his mercies and his grace.